Right now at 5.30, a major election day upset in New Jersey. Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Christine Johnson. State Senate President Steve Sweeney is out, defeated by a truck driver who spent little money on the campaign. CBS 2's Meg Baker with more on how this drastically changes the state's power dynamics. Hello, my name is Edward Durr. I'm running for New Jersey State Senate. Republican State Senator-elect Edward Durr is seen in his campaign video stepping down from his truck to introduce himself. He's from the rural town of Swedesboro in Gloucester County, South Jersey. And he just beat Senate President Steve Sweeney, who has served the state since 2002, and who has been talked about as a possible candidate for governor in 2025. Absolutely, I thought it was possible, but did I think it was a reality? It didn't set in until they actually saw the numbers. Joshua Henney is a Democratic strategist. Anyone who said they saw this coming is lying. Durr describes himself as a Christian, blue collar with strong conservative beliefs, and a member of the NRA. A truck driver for Ray Moore and Flanagan, he barely campaigned. It didn't happen because of me. I'm nobody. Newly selected Republican leader, State Senator Steve Arojo, says Durr will represent his constituents well. He had said it that uh, he likes to um, listen. He likes to listen to the people. Um, and then obviously he, he believes his, his voice is the voice uh, for the people. Outside of government, Sweeney is a paid officer in the International Iron Workers Union. As Senate president, his ability to decide what laws get considered rivals the power of the governors he worked with. So how does a political king such as Sweeney get knocked out so easily by a guy who threw his hat in the ring on a whim? Democrats need to enthuse their base and they need to talk about things more than just Donald Trump. They have to talk about things that are making lives better for people in their day-to-day -day lives. Political strategist Jeanette Hoffman says when election issues include the economy, taxes and schools, Republicans do really well. The power dynamics in the state house will be changing. It will be interesting to see, you know, who's who's going to control the agenda in the state house, and will that person work together with the next governor? Yeah. I'm not going to change nothing. People are going to change. It. Just trust me. The people's voice has been heard. Steve Sweeney has yet to concede, saying he wants to make sure every vote is counted and that voters deserve that. In New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS Two News. Durr previously ran for assembly back in 2019, and despite reports that he spent $150 on the campaign, Durr says he spent less than $10,000 on this year's race.